What's up guys, it's Nick. I'm here with my wife Heather and this is my first try on this camera so we're gonna see how it goes. Um, so what what happened? Why are, why are we here? Season point was packed yesterday. Oh my goodness, it was all over social media. Um, first time in the park's 150 year history, Cedar Point out in Sandusky, Ohio actually had to close to people coming into the park because they were so busy. They they hit capacity. It's never happened before in 150 years. And they actually had to turn people away who were coming into the park. And we've got some pictures we're gonna show you right here. Um, right here you can see just how full that parking lot was. I mean, we've been to Cedar Point. Twice. Twice, and yeah. That, that, that's pretty full. Yeah. Um, there were, they actually shut down the causeway that goes from the mainland out to the park. They, they just shut it down. There were people waiting in traffic for two, three, four hours. Yeah. Just, and they got turned away. Yeah. Because they just couldn't accommodate any more people. And you'll see here they had some uh, backups on just several main outlets in Sandusky. Like this one here, we're pretty sure is near the hotels right at the end of the causeway as you get ready to go out to the park. And then this one here, this is just from a side street near the causeway. It's not even on a main road. It's just a residential side street that people take to get into the park. I mean, it's backed up. And then this one here, this is a very popular outlet if you're going from, I think it's Milan Road. I guess. Going up north towards the lake. There's a like a ramp at the very top of the hill that you can take to go over to Cleveland Avenue, which is where you turn onto the causeway. And again, jam packed. Like you couldn't move at all. Yeah. Never happened before. And there are three main factors that play into this. The first one is the, the weather was just so darn nice yesterday, yeah. especially for late October. Yeah. And season passes gold for the first time, Cedar Point gave away the gold passes. They were on sale for $99. It got you in for the rest of this season and all of next season. So there's another one as to why it was so busy. Yeah, a lot of people taking advantage of that. This is the first year that Cedar Point has offered a gold pass. In previous years, it's been you have your basic season pass that doesn't include parking, food discounts, anything else. It just gets you in the gate. And then they had the Platinum Pass, which if you wanted all the perks that you can get at other parks with the Gold Pass, you had to pay for a Platinum Pass and get into every other park in the, in the country in the chain. Mm -hmm. But this year they decided to do what they do at all their other parks and offer a Gold Pass, which is just Cedar Point and Cedar Point Shores, free parking, food discounts, all that. Mm -hmm. And they made it really affordable and they made it valid for the rest of this year too. And that drew in huge crowds. It also drew in a lot of money. Yeah. So we could, I would definitely expect to see this happen more. Yeah. And the third factor, uh, it's the final two weekends of the season. I mean. And they've got their haunt stuff going the, on. The Halloween weekends festival is going on. And I mean, it draws a crowd. Mm -hmm. And so people were all over social media yesterday and they were ticked off. Yeah. On one hand, I kind of understand like the park's response to these people was literally you can come back tomorrow or next weekend or next weekend that was their response and for some people who live within a reasonable driving distance i mean that's i guess a viable option mm. i mean i would say if you live in maybe as far away as toledo or cleveland in either direction yeah but for people who come from miles from out of state or in some cases from the other side of the country i think we actually read that someone actually came in from the uk yeah they had to cancel their hotel reservation like for some people that's just not a viable option mm -mm, because they never know when they can come back exactly and on the but again i mean just like it says on the ticket on your pass no refunds, no rain checks. You have to understand what you're getting when you get it. When you get it. But again, this is unprecedented. It's never happened before. Mm -hmm. 
Um, so for anyone in the future who wants to avoid something like this, take it from someone who has experience in the entertainment industry. Monday through Thursday is the best day to go. Friday and Sunday are okay. Decent. Saturday, find something else to do. Yeah. Unless it's literally the only time you can go. Yeah. If, if, if you have a season pass and you think, hey, I think I'm just going to go out to the park on a Saturday, think again, Rambo. Yeah. You're going to be waiting in long lines. I mean, I was reading that there were people waiting in line for two and a half, three hours just to get on certain rides, which, Cedar Point, it's not terribly surprising. No. But mm. it's the fact that they had to shut down the causeway to all incoming traffic. That's what really got a lot of people. Even their lot for their water park was full. There, there was not a parking spot left on that peninsula, and it's it's crazy. We heard in a news report that there was this guy that got in line from Millennium Force at like 3.15, and it was 5.30, and he was still waiting in line. Wait over two hours. That's how bad it was. The longest line I've ever waited in at Cedar Point was an hour and a half, and that was to get on top thrill dragster. Mm -hmm. So 90 minutes for a 17-second ride, totally worth it. <laughs> That's not sarcasm, by the way. I would do it again. Right, me too. Anyway, so that's what happened out at Cedar Point. We just wanted to kind of clarify that a little bit. Mm -hmm. So, it's a great place to go if you ever find yourself out there. It is. Um, even us, we live twelve hours twice. away, and we've been there twice. It's it's definitely worth going, but plan accordingly. Yes, plan accordingly. Avoid the weekends. You'll yeah. have a great time. Yeah. All right. We Bye. will see you guys later. Bye, guys.